The focus really is on what's happening with China and the US in terms of trade. When you look at Botswana's own relationship with China, your government has recently recommitted to the One China Trade Policy. Yes. How confident are you of a good relationship with China and I guess avoiding some of the, uh, I guess, shall we say, some of the different experiences that some of the other past administrations have had in Botswana? Right. Well, we are uh, very confident and quite excited about our uh, renewed relationship with China. And uh, it's mainly because it's uh, one of our biggest trading partners and, again, one of the world's largest uh, economies. So we are, uh, the way we see it, uh, it would be to our own peril if mm. we were to avoid um, trading and building a relationship with China. Um, and we are doing it um, looking at a view of getting what's beneficial to us and also ensuring that it's that win-win kind of cooperation. And how do you work on, I guess, improving relationships in a avoiding some of the difficulties of the past? Well, in improving the relations, it's mainly on trade, um, uh, our own products and uh, their own products. And uh, we are working, we're looking at several infrastructural projects as well. Um, but those are going to be done within even our own fiscal systems to ensure that nothing is a burden to our, uh, mm. our finances. Um, and on a political level, that's also happening. You'll remember that in China, uh, the uh, Chinese party as well, the Communist Party is uh, very strong and uh, it's building relations with the Bazaar. Democratic Party. Um, so it goes, it transcends at political, both at economic level. Speaking about not being a fiscal burden, the President Masisi recently announced that China is eager to support your country's pitch for at least 12 billion pooler investment in rail and road infrastructure projects. But you currently are spending debt at about 15% of GDP. You've got that cap of 20%. Do you think you could potentially see the government loosen some of those restrictions in order to be able to take on more infrastructure or do you stick with that 20% cap? At the moment, we are uh, focusing on our uh, limits and uh, we are focusing on the kind of a future that we want. So uh, there are potentials of uh, triple P projects as well instead of just carrying sovereign debt. Uh, so we are um, really assessing what will work best uh, for uh, the Botswana development agenda. Let's talk about Botswana when you look at the other African countries that you compete with. You have lost a little bit of, I guess, your competitive edge in recent years. Mm. How are you trying to move forward to get that competitive edge back and, I guess, remain competitive amongst yes. the Central African communities? Well, first, we are uh, rebranding ourselves as an investment destination of choice. And uh, in order to do that, we recognize that there are a lot of doing business reforms that we need to undertake. And I'm happy to say that uh, we have a doing business reform roadmap and in the past uh, uh, parliamentary sitting in July, we passed uh, about nine doing business reform legislation uh, that will be implemented in the next uh, financial year. Um, and those are looking at uh, um, uh, online business registration. We're also looking at overhauling our immigration system in order to make it easier for those that are skilled to come in. And uh, we have uh, very relaxed um, exchange controls. And we are really just working on boosting that competitiveness and ensuring that it's not difficult to register and to do business in Botswana. We are here at the New Economy Forum in Singapore. You're confident Botswana is a new economy that's yes. going to continue to push ahead. What sort of sectors and industries are you mainly focusing on? Well, we see a lot of opportunity in the global value chain space, um, and uh, that is in uh, light manufacturing, component manufacturing, as well as in the services uh, industry. So in the component manufacturing, we've seen uh, um, some companies move to Botswana and FDI uh, for uh, automotive space. And uh, then there's a bit of interest as well in the tech textile industry and uh, uh, financial sector we're also looking at. Um, the services, education, healthcare, create in Botswana as a hub because we sit right at the center of uh, southern Africa yeah. and we think we are very well positioned because we are land linked to the rest of uh, the continent. Just very finally, some of the diamond mining petering out. What are you looking for in terms of sustainable development in, say, the next decade, two decades? Well, uh, a knowledge-based economy, um, the services predominantly. Um, and uh, we are we are still discovering a lot of minerals in Botswana and beneficiation of those minerals is very key to us, including that of diamonds, because we still have quite a long way to go with our diamonds.